Subtle signs. You're living on the water. This evolution in urban living is a response to climate change and urbanization. Building homes that float on concrete blocks makes them floodproof. They can rise and fall with the water. And it exploits the extra space available on aquatic territory. This is Eiberg on the outskirts of Amsterdam. And here there is a whole floating community. These homes work on the basis of the Archimedes principle. The more water pushed away underneath, the more weight you can build on top. And just have a look at this view. One of the things that's attracting an increasing number of people here in the Netherlands to live on the water. And if we go just down into the basement, life goes on below the surface of the lake. Is this something that places like Somerset could take advantage of in the future? Should we be building on water in the UK? Well, in the UK we're already looking at possibilities, but it's a combination of floating houses and amphibious houses. Amphibious houses are houses that are normal situation, standing on rock-solid ground, and when water comes, they start to be floating houses. We'll be visiting those amphibious homes later, but first, a glimpse across one of the country's most controversial flood defence systems. Room for the River is a 2.3 billion euro government programme. It involves moving people off floodplains. The principle behind it is that we give space for water instead of constraining it by, by dikes. And the idea was and is still that uh, those systems which give room for the river are more flexible, are more robust than, than the, the, the dike system. So it helps to protect the urban areas, but means locals have to make huge personal sacrifices. Fix Old House has just been demolished. This uh, 20 years of your life uh, is now gone away to the years of your memories, but uh, after all, I hope that everybody here, but I'm saying that uh, it's okay. We have a nice place now, and we're going to be, uh, be happy here too. And here are the Netherlands' first amphibious homes. Like frogs, they can survive on land and water. Urban planners from Britain, the US and India have all been here to see how these amphibious designs work. They cost approximately 20% more than your average house. In the Dutch experience, though, investing before flooding costs less than cleaning up after the water. Anna Holligan, BBC News, Maspommel.